Hello there. In this video, I'll show you how to replace the engine coolant expansion tank in a Vauxhall Corsa D, which is that thing just down there. Welcome to Caspi TV. Step one is to make sure the engine is stone cold. If it isn't, the coolant will be hot and under high pressure, and when we start work, we're going to get burnt. That doesn't sound fun. Next, we need to gather our tools, and all we need is a pair of pliers that open nice and wide, an 8mm socket with the associated ratchet and extension bar, a cloth, a bucket or similar container, and of course, a little bit of coolant to top up the system. Now, obviously the expansion tank contains coolant, and that coolant could spill when we remove it. So to minimise the spillage, we're going to take the lid off now, like so, and shove the cloth in there and just soak up some of that coolant so it doesn't go everywhere. So there we are, the cloth is soaking up the coolant nicely. So we can now pull it out. Come on, out you come. And then just wring the coolant out into the bucket. Like so. And then just do that a couple of times to get most of the coolant out. OK, the expansion tank is now about 90% empty, and that's good enough for our purposes. And that means we can turn our attention to this upper hose that goes into the top of the tank. This hose needs to be removed, and it's held in place by this rather rusty metal clip just there at the end of my finger. And to remove that clip, we need, you guessed it, of the big pliers. So just squeeze that clip like so, and then give it a wiggle, and simultaneously just pull and twist on the hose until, with a little bit of luck, it pops off. Come on now. There we go. There's also a second, larger hose that needs to be removed in the same way. And that second hose is easy enough to find. We just look down here, below the hose that we've already removed, and here it is. And that, of course, is the metal clip we need to loosen to release it. Now this clip is bigger than the first one and under a lot more tension, so this time we're going to completely remove it from the rubber hose by sliding it forwards, like so, nearly, and completely removing it should make it easier, there we go, to fully separate this hose in a moment. There we go, it's loose. So we can now remove the hose, so simultaneously twist and pull. Now we may get a little bit of spillage here from any remaining coolant in the expansion tank, but that's okay. Come on now, hose. Oh, it's well on there. I can hear some gurgling noises, there we go. And yeah, a little bit of coolant escapes onto the driveway, but that's okay. Now we need the 8mm socket and the ratchet. And that's to undo this bolt here. So here we go. Out comes the bolt. And I'll pop that in my pocket and try not to lose it. And then the expansion tank just pulls upwards and is free from the car. So just like this. 
and there we go. So there you go. You can either now buy a new expansion tank if yours is broken, or if, like mine, is just disgustingly filthy inside, you can give it a quick clean. This one's getting cleaned. I'm going to clean it with the garden hose and the bucket, but I've got to be very careful not to splash that camera or this microphone, because that would be a very expensive mistake. <laughs> Look, it started to rain <laughs> and really quite hard. So I've had to rather urgently bring my camera inside so that doesn't get ruined. Come back, son. We've got work to do. OK, let's now reinstall the expansion tank. And to do that, we have to first notice these two plastic lugs on its front edge. Can you see those? Well, these lugs have to slide into these holes. There's one there, and there's one there. Okay, so we'll have a go at that. This is a lot easier when you're not holding a camera and doing it one-handed. But nonetheless, there we go. That is now in situ, which means we can replace the bolt which, miracle of miracles, I haven't lost. Although it is a little bit wet now because of the rain. So we'll pop that in, grab the ratchet and tighten it up. Good. Next, we need to reinstall the lower rubber hose. So let's pop the metal clip back onto the expansion tank, like so, and then slide the hose back into position. And let's also, as well as pushing, give it a little twist because that makes it move a little easier. And we want it to go on as far as possible. Come on, you're gonna have to go on eventually. There's no point arguing, nearly. There we are. The hose is now in place. So of course we need to secure it by replacing the metal clip. Where are my pliers? There we go. I suppose we'd better be conventional and replace the top hose as well, because otherwise Vauxhall will shout at us. <laughs> so just slide it on. Yeah, man. Oh, this one wants to fight. There we are. Now all we need to do is top up the coolant, replace the lid on the expansion tank, and of course make sure it's nice and tight, just like that, and then start the engine let it get up to temperature, and then come back in here and check for leaks around the hoses. And that's it. That's how to change the engine coolant expansion tank on a Vauxhall Corsa D when it keeps raining. Look at this. My solution for the bad weather has been to hide the camera under this cloth and just leave the lens sticking out a little. Fine for light shower, not so good in a thunderstorm. <laughs> but there you go. Anyway, must put those tools away. So that's it. But before you go, don't forget to subscribe to Car Spy TV. That makes it easier to find my other content. Can you also please do me a favor and click like on this video? And I'll see you next time. Where's my umbrella? <laughs>